Healthiogis presents your herb aloe vera for diabetes. Aloe vera gel has pre-packed with magic ingredients of numerous medicinal properties. It can reduce blood glucose and glycosylated hemoglobin levels. What is aloe vera? Aloe vera is a stemless or very short stem succulent having thick, fleshy, water stored leaves plant growing to 60 to 100 centimeters that is 24 to 39 inches tall. The leaves are thick and fleshy, green, or gray-green. Margin of the leaf is serrated saw-toothed and has small white teeth. Aloe vera nativity is unclear and may be from Africa. Aloe vera has been widely grown by the modern gardeners as an ornamental plant. What is aloe vera juice? Aloe vera juice is prepared from the leaves of the aloe plant by just removing the marginal saw-toothed spikes and the green layer of the leaf. Inside this, you can find a watery gel with yellow sap wash it out. Because consuming this sap may cause dysentery, but it can help treat constipation. Crash this clean aloe vera's jelly to become watery liquid called aloe vera juice. It is always best to take it as a fresh juice, but even commercially available aloe vera juices are effective. Consuming this aloe vera juice can help various health conditions. Aloe vera lower sugar level. The mechanism of action of aloe vera to reduce blood glucose levels is by enhancing glucose metabolism. Additionally, the glucose lowering effect could be by an antioxidant mechanism. It attenuates oxidative damage in the brains by streptozotocin is toxic to the insulin producing pancreas beta cells induced mice and reduced peroxidation levels in the kidneys of streptozotocin induced diabetic rats. Aloe vera lower heart attack and strokes risks. Aloe vera possesses anti-diabetic, anti-dyslipidemia, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant property, which may help prevent heart disease and strokes. Numerous studies show aloe has a beneficial effect in the prevention of atherosclerosis and coronary heart disease. Medicinal Uses of Aloe Vera Many researches show the aloe gel contains active constitutions that reduce blood glucose and glycated hemoglobin levels A1c. It helps many skin conditions. Use internally or externally such as for wounds, burns, rashes, sores, herpes, fungus, vaginal infections, acne, sunburn, psoriasis, warts, etc. Taking internally increases immunity. It helps cancer patients by stimulating the development of non-cancerous cells and white blood cells. Useful in indigestion, liver problems, urinary tract infections, stomach ulcers, kidney infections, intestinal worms and many other conditions. Lowers cholesterol level, oxygenate blood, protect body from stress, and reduce high blood pressure. It can nourish the body with minerals, vitamins, enzymes and glycol nutrients. Aloe vera dosage Normally suggested aloe dosage for the treatment of diabetes is 30 milliliters, dilute with water and take in the early morning. Otherwise, take 600 mg tablets 1 to 3 daily. Aloe vera availability Aloe vera is available as gel, juice, spray dry powder and as capsule. How do you take aloe vera? Aloe vera gel or juice can dilute with water, taste it as per your choice or drink the juice as it is. Spray dry powder capsules can swallow as supplement. If you have aloe plant around your location, you can try to consume it as fresh juice every alternate day. Bioactive constituents of aloe vera The aloe plant gel contains about 99-99.5% to 99 .5 water, with an average pH of 4.5. The balance contains over 75 different ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, enzymes, sugars, anthraquinones or phenolic compounds, lignin, saponins, sterols, amino acids and salicylic acid. Vitamins and minerals are C, A, E, B vitamins, B carotene, zinc, calcium, copper, magnesium, manganese, and phosphorus. It contains at least five different enzymes and likely more. It contains 22 amino acids. Plant sterile is a plant-based compound, potent anti-inflammatory agents. Gibberellin is a growth factor, which assists in healing. Polysaccharides, 
including B1-3 and B1-4 glucomannan known for their immune-stimulating effects. Based on its constituent makeup, aloe has a wide array of applications. Possible Side Effects of Aloe Vera Other than occasional allergic reactions, there is no serious problem in the use of aloe gel, both internally and externally. If aloe is useful in your diabetes treatment, you should closely monitor your glucose levels. If possible, you can lower your medication in steps otherwise hypoglycemia may occur. Aloe Vera Scientific Evidence in Diabetes Control Clinical trial titled Antidiabetic Activity of Aloe Vera L Juice by Iyong Chaouta S. Rungpaterung CV, Badiaprofitsara N. at L. published in Phytomedicine 1996. 3. 241-243. This clinical trial is on new cases of diabetes mellitus. Results showed significantly greater improvements in blood sugar levels among those who given aloe over the two-week treatment period. Clinical trial titled Antidiabetic Activity of Aloe Vera L Juice 2 by Badiaprofitsara N. Yuang Chaouta S. Rungpaterung CV, at L. published in Phytomedicine 1996. 3. 245-248. This trial is in diabetes patients in combination with glibenclamide and aloe. The result shows, taking glibenclamide and aloe showed definite improvements in blood sugar levels over 42 days as compared to those taking glibenclamide and placebo. Subscribe to our video channel for interesting videos and visit healthyogis.com for useful information on diabetes, cholesterol, high and low blood pressure, eye and sleep problems.